Hello, Cardinal fans. We are back and ready for some second half action. We have got two minutes, 30 seconds till, till we start the second half. Your coach Johnson, what do you say to the locker room? <laughs> if I were the locker room saying to coach Johnson, oh, no. I would say, <laughs> I what said are those? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. Let's talk about that. I don't know. Is Coach Johnson out here yet? Yeah, he's right down get there. Get on the camera and let, let's let's look at his shoes. Uh, I don't know if we can get to him. Man. Uh, yeah, barely. Yes, look at that. The gray what vans. What are those? Gray vans. Yep, I was told. Bang. I was told this by uh, a certain person that was up here talking to yeah. us earlier, and they uh, mentioned – Coach Johnson's vans and said that he has several different colors. Which, wow. I mean, you do you, Coach Jay, as long as you keep wearing the money socks. He has the money socks, and that, that's what's really important. That, that's all that matters. Because, you know, they like to call him B Money. Yes. And, and he represents that. So Yes. My question is did he ever get those pants stitched up that he ripped? That's those, the real question. I don't think those need to be stitched up. Or, those, or those, those need hung to be, up and those framed. Needs, no, those need to be framed and put in the Farmington Hall of Fame. I'd have to agree. If a Farmington Hall of Fame existed, that would be it. That would be the first item. Let's put it in the trophy cases in the arena. That would be good. Just hang the right pants there right display. there where everybody could see. That would be awesome. The date, everything. Make it look all official. <laughs> would you hook us up with that, Kale? That would be awesome. That would be pretty awesome. So Lady Cardinals coming off a of halftime. You know Coach Johnson was telling them, we've got to figure out a way to stop these turnovers and get some of these shots that, that we've had wide open to fall, especially the layups right underneath the basket. Yes. No doubt about it. Here, Rogers Heritage. They'll have the ball to start the second half. And force a turnover right turnover. away. Pass to Bounce Pence. Pass to Pence. Good job keeping it under control. Pence for three. Off no the mark. Good. Brown, Brown wrestles with the rebound. rebound. Cameron thinks about the three. Van Zant pulls for it and gets it to go. She's got a swift-looking shot. She does, and that's that's a good thing to see because especially with, with hands in their face, you got to get that ball and go because they're going to be right there yes. in an instant. They're going to pull from three. Off the mark. Rebound falls into Pence's hands. Speaking of shots, Last weekend, I went to the Grizzlies-Warriors game, and I believe that the quickest shot that I've ever seen in person is not Steph Curry. It's Clay Thompson. Really? I think so. He had a, a couple of extremely quick shots last week mm -hmm. that just, in my opinion, surpassed Steph Curry's. Yep. In the meantime, Ben... Van Zant drives underneath the basket, can't get the layup to go, gets her own rebound, goes back up and gets fouled. So now she's going to be at the line. Two shots. First one rattles in and out. Here comes the second. That, that one's, one's good. good. Lady Cardinals up. 26 to 14, six minutes, 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Drive inside, off the glass, no good. Brown pulls down another board. She's got a trap. Be a jump ball. Possession error will favor the Cardinals. Coach Johnson getting in the play. Van Zant brings it across half court. Jernigan. 
Looking for the play to develop. Cross to Pence. Underneath the basket to Jones. Oh. Goes through her hands, out of bounds. It'll be Heritage ball. She had a good look. She just thought about what she was doing before she actually did it. Yep. Lady War Eagles take it across. Tipped away. Here we come quick. Brown underneath the basket. Rushed that shot a little bit. Here comes the Lady War Eagles quick. Have to stop at the three-point line. Thought about the three. Here comes Van Zant. Got by herself. Rushed that shot. Tipped back. She gets the, the layup to go. Got away with one a little bit there. We did. Very much so. They're going to slow it down. Drives baseline inside. They're going to call a foul. That's going to be on offensive foul. No, I'm sorry. Thought it was at first. No. Nope. That'll be Jones's first foul for the Lady Cardinals. Comes there inbound. Get it in. Thought about the three. She's just not a shooter. No. <laughs> Reverses it. Hook shot gets it to go. That was that was a pretty impressive shot. Had to go all the way into the basket to get that one in. Brown Another fumbles turnover. the ball. Another turnover. All the way down the court, she gets the and block. she gets the swat. They're going to call her on a foul, though. I, I'm no expert, but it looks clean to me. I think what they did is it wasn't the swat. It was the hand holding. She had the other hand <laughs> on the on her hole. He was, she was holding the girl's left arm while, while she tried to shoot. So yeah, <laughs> that might be considered a foul. They're going to go to the line. Number 11, Meredith Lakis. She did a little dance to help that one go in. Here's the second one, that one's good. So we have a 10 point ball game. Four minutes, 50 left in the third. Gets it into Van Zant. They're gonna bring a press. Brown across the timeline. Look for something across, Pence. To Van Zant, down the basket to Jones. Shots blocked, out of bounds. Heritage. Uh, they have got I, size. I, I, We've I, talked about it before, but she tried to make that shot. It looks wide open, and out of nowhere, bam. <laughs> yeah. Oh. McKenna almost had an and one there. She'll go to the line. It'll be two shots. First one's up and good. Van Zant, actually, she leads the scoring column right now, 12 points to her name. Oh, man. Youngest player we got on the courts leading the scoring column in a 7A basket, against a 7A hey. basketball team. That tells you something right there. Out of bounds on Farmington. It's going to remain Heritage Ball. Here we come quick. Browns one on one, able to stay under control, get the basket to go. Nice left handed layup there. Lady Cardinals up. 14. Trying to make something happen. Go past us. They're going to call a foul. And it's a charge. 
for sure a was for that sure a charge. That was no, that was not a flop. If that's what you're about to say, she got she got put on the ground. And that was Cameron Jernigan. You know, one thing about Cameron, always, always a hustle player. Yep. And uh, you know, you see this whole team right now, just by the number of turnovers they forced. I know we, we've had a lot of fo forced turnovers both ways, but. They're hustling to the ball everywhere, and that's something really good to see. So with three minutes, 46 seconds left, we've got a full timeout, so we'll take a quick break. I love the app. I use it to deposit checks, snap the pictures, enter a few things, and then you just deposit. It's that easy? It's that easy. It's so easy to use. My dad can do it. What's the most unusual place you've used the mobile app? On top of a mountain in a snow cave in Vail, Colorado. While I was waiting in the drive-thru. The deer woods. Church. <laughs> our best bank. Our customers say it best. Attention students, have you found a place to live yet? Don't move into high-rise, high-cost student living. Live somewhere comfortable, affordable, on the bus route, and close to everything you need. It's all at Mad Sky Rental. 95% of apartments are rented in Fayetteville, so Mad Sky's places are going fast. Call today at 251-9403. One, two, and three bedrooms available. 251-9403. Or online at Mad Sky Rental. All right, Cardinal fans, we are back. Cardinals with the ball. Van Zant gets the ball taken away from her. Heritage down the court quick, gets the layup to go. Goes over Jernigan. Coach Johnson will get a play in. Prevent us from getting a turnover. Cameron gets out of that trap in the corner all the way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Off her head. Gets Hustle her own play. rebound. Draws a foul. Wow. Hustle player. Like you just said. <laughs> So Lady Cardinals the inbound at Van Zant will be your inbounder. Brown flashes across, trying to get it to her, but to go ahead and give it to Pence up top. Here comes the Cardinals offense. Brown drives baseline, tries to bounce pass it to Pence. That's picked off. Here they come quick. Heritage all the way down the court. Off the glass, no good. Shot blocked. It'll be out of bounds, and it'll still remain Heritage's ball. Claudia in for Anthea. <laughs> and Madison Parsley is coming in for Cameron Jernigan. Cameron, like we said, a lot of hustle in, in the minute she was in. They oh. get a three to fall. Talk about a high arcing three. Yes. That's in the air forever. And McKenna Van Zant is going to get two shots. I believe that she has been on the line more than anyone tonight. Yes, she has, and that's where a lot of our, her points have came from. First one is up and good. They sub out the 5'9 girl for a 5'10 girl, so they did not lose anything in size-wise. So that'll be, um, we talk about Van Zant. Uh, let's talk, we can talk about her a little bit more. Have you looked at the board to see how many points she's got right now? Uh, let's see. 14. 14. 14 wow. points. And we look at a, another one, Pence, nine. Um, Brown with eight. And then that's not kind of the people that are on the bench right now, but like Jernigan. But um, nine less than Heritage has. You know what I really think is cool about that 
is you've got Pence, nine points, sophomore. And then you've got Van Zant, 14 points, freshman. Yeah. So the, the potential of this team in the next few years through the is through the roof, like you said. Here comes their inbounds. Cardinals will press. It's going to be one on one underneath the basket. Good hustle play by Pence. Thirty-four to twenty-three, Lady Cardinals lead. Two minutes left in the third quarter. They get it in into the corner. Passed underneath the basket, met by the Cardinal defense. Goes around both of them. Gets the basket to fall. Got to be a better job moving our feet right there. Oh, yeah. Pence for three is no good and off the top of the backboard after it hits the rim. You know, one thing we got to be bounds. careful about, you know, we had that, uh, I believe we had it up to 14 points, the highest lead we had. Mm -hmm. Right now, you've got a nine-point lead. There <laughs> There's a lot of basketball left to be played in this game. There you is. still got a minute 50 left in the third quarter, so we still got a lot, a lot of, of time, time left. So you can't pull, stop playing at all. You got to keep the keep the uh, gas pedal pressed. Got to keep the momentum going too. We need to get a couple more threes in, boost a little bit of confidence. Going into the fourth quarter. Claudia drew the foul there. That's her first. They get another basket to fall. So here they come. Since little momentum favoring them. They bring the press again. Double team Brown. They're going to call her on a walk. Here comes Jernigan to check into the game. She's going to replace Parsley. Parsley. Think about driving in, and they do all the way to the basket. Another one. They could just they're, they're, they've got they found a little a little lane there that they can get through because that's about the second time they've gotten through that same lane. Yes. Another turnover. Pence hustling for the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. Is that one ours? Possession arrow is going to favor the Lady War Eagles. Ah. So. We've got a five-point ball game here. We've got a five-point game. <laughs> it's a pretty good ball game right here. It is. You know, a minute ago, I was starting to think this was becoming out of reach for them. Yeah, far from it. But they put themselves right back in it, made a couple of shots. Here we get the turnover. Van Zant feeds it to Pence. They slow down, get something set up. Claudia is going to drive inside. Can't get it to fall. Gets her own rebound. It's going to be fouled on the way up. She's going to go to the line. It'll be two shots. Number five, Shelby Thompson. That's her second foul. Free throws up and no good. Here's the second. That one's no good. Rattles around, no good. Call a foul yeah. on Brown. That's her third foul. So you kind of worry about that. It looks like Wilson's going to come in, come check in for her. Here's 10, gives it across the timeline. Not putting much pressure on her. Nine seconds, trying to get the last shot. Don't want to make it too easy. 
Going to force the turnover, three seconds. Put the basket up and they get fouled. 1.6 left in the quarter. Uh. That's frustrating. They'll call that on Pence. That's our second foul. Eesh. Looking at your fouls, Pence with two. Van Zant with two. Claudia's got one, and then on the bench, we got Kaylee Brown with three, which is the one you worry about. Are you going to call a lane violation? Yep, that's what it looked like. Lane violation on the Lady War Eagles. Cardinals catch a break there. Still a four-point four point ball, ball, game. ball game. Here comes the press. They pick it off. Nothing's going to happen, though, because the clock expired. Coach Johnson's wanting an explanation for that. So at the end of the third quarter, we've got us ourselves a tight one, 34-30. to 30. We'll take a quick break and be right back. .com. Farmington Schools would like to thank Trinity Rehabilitation and Melinda Day for providing athletic training services that keep our Farmington athletes safe and in the game. Trinity has clinics in Fayetteville, Springdale, and Bella Vista. If you need outpatient physical therapy, please contact Trinity at 521-2232. Hey there, sports fans. Looking for that perfect bat? Need new football cleats? What about the latest in Razorback apparel? Come find exactly what you need at Best Sports. With two convenient locations and friendly customer service, we are your local suppliers of team sports, trophies, monogramming, letter jackets, Under Armour apparel, and much, much more. Locally owned and operated since 1972, let out. All right, Cardinal fans, we are back. Start of the fourth quarter. Tight ball game, 34 to 30. What well, the Cardinals got to do on this quarter, eliminate turnovers, find a way to score. I think that they just need to score more points than the other team. Oh, that's obvious. Flash across the lane as Pitts. Shot's going to be blocked, but they call a foul. So she'll go to the line. <laughs> Rogers Heritage fans not very happy about that one. Not at all. You know, I was watching a broadcast the other day, and they stole Will Warren's signature lines. <laughs> they did. They did. I sent a screenshot of it to Kale and Will. And oh, yeah. their keys to the this. game were score more points than the other team. And I I asked Will if he'd copyrighted it. He said no, that it was still in the making. So I guess they can do that. Guess so. Lady Cardinals score two at the line. Make it, makes it 36-30. to 30. We'll work on getting the clock fixed. And Van Zant is going to go to the line once yet again. Another time. Once again. First one is up and good. I'd really like to see the percentage of the shots and the, of the points that she's got that have been from the line. Because it's got to be way up there. And the second one. I'll have it on the scoreboard in one second. Oh, my goodness. You can Kale, see me working on the behind. clock right now. Holy cow. There we go. You kind of sense the Lady Cardinals here in the, the start of this quarter have little, sucked a little bit of life out of Heritage. Still a close game, but we've played well. Heritage is becoming. As soon as we say that, well, drive in the lane, do a layup over somebody's head. I was still going goes. to say that they become more sluggish looking, but that layup proved me wrong. Another turnover. Lady War Eagles looking for the play. Here they come. 
Cardinals defense swarming to the ball. They get it underneath, they're gonna draw a foul. I think they're gonna get that one on Van, 23, I'm sorry, Ella Wilson. It's her first foul. Comes number 44, Brooke Minky to the foul line. Second shot is up and bounces off, no good. Van Zant's gonna go for the ball. They call. Did they call a travel on that one? I, did, I did not see it. Either way, it is Heritage Ball. Six point ball game. Six minutes, 27 seconds left in the game. We get it, they get it in all the way around. They're gonna call Jernigan with the foul. But the thing is with that foul, once you get there, there's not much movement. I mean, yeah. she, she's just all of a sudden there. So hard to avoid that one. She tried her best just to stand as still as she could, but. That first one's up and no good. They've missed quite a few free throws. They have. I bet you they'll be working on that quite a bit next practice. Here's the second one. That one goes. That one's up and good. You know, Kale, I need. I think we need to start or stop bashing them. I, I think all we need to do is call the opposite of what we want to happen. We got a trap, throw it away right into the Heritage hands. They get the layup, makes it 35 to 38. Wow, what a turn of events. So Coach Johnson is mad as all get out, so he calls a timeout. It's a full timeout. We've got 618 left in the ball game. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Our family help your family. Best Sports, the sports shop for all seasons. Farmington Schools is currently seeking both full-time and substitute bus drivers. If you or someone you know has their commercial driver's license or would like more information on getting theirs, please contact Transportation Director Jim Hendricks at 479-267-6023. That's 479-267-6023. Farmington Schools is a better way to drive. Farmington Stampede is a proud supporter of Farmington Schools and the Farmington community. We look forward to everyone joining the next Stampede. Go Cards! Hello Cardinal fans and we are back here fixing to shoot, shoot some free throws. Oh, nope, we're inbounding it. Here they come, they're gonna have that swarm de swarming defense. All the way under the basket, tries to get it to Ella. Another turnover. Coach Johnson is just, does not know what to do. They're gonna call a jump ball. Should be Farmington's if it's or a Or did we get ball. a timeout? Uh, I think we got a timeout. Timeout yep. War Eagles. War Eagles card. The and another full timeout. Full timeout, but let's, let's stay here and talk about it for a little bit. 35 to 38. We were up by 14 in this half. Yeah. That is, it's just something that's it's kind of crazy to think about. Life of the Cardinals kind of got sucked out here here uh, recently, but if you're them right now, what are, you, what are you thinking? If I'm the Cardinals? Yes. I'm thinking, you know, they have not proven themselves to be very good perimeter shooters. They haven't. I would stay back a little, guard the paint, and basically just not let them have any easy shots. And that's what and that's, that's no what second try chances. To do. That's what they're going to try to do. And then on defense, you've got to find an answer to their pressure. You've got to find a way to move the ball more. You've got to find a way to not throw it to the same spot inside. Something. Ball fake, head fake, you know, even a jab step. Throw something in there. It, it's, it's very predictable to see. And they're stepping in that passing lane and getting it every time. They are. Still got six minutes left in the game. Corner shot wide open, no good. They're not going to be able to pull down the rebound. They're going to get a foul. 
and it is going to be on Farmington. And that'll be on Brown. That's her fourth foul. So that's definitely, she is in foul trouble here with six minutes left in the game. Someone you don't really want to be in foul trouble right now. She's the, probably our biggest presence rebounding no, by far. Yes. Um, senior experience. So see how she can play with four. Two-point ball game. Claudia coming in for Kaylee Brown. Claudia is also a pretty big rebounder. She'll go in there and fight for the ball. She's not afraid. She gets it across. Shot is blocked again. Here they come quick. It's been a block, a shot blocking fest. Be a tie ball game. First time the Cardinals have not led since the start. We're gonna have to get it across the timeline. Right through our hands, sloppy, sloppy play. They get the layup to fall. Definitely a lot of momentum going for the, for the Lady War Eagles. It's so frustrating because it's little things. It's little things that get you beat like that. It because is. You look at those things where you're already struggling on turnovers. You can't let a crowd. I mean, it's not a small crowd. It's for this gym at this size of school, it's probably a small crowd. But, I mean, it's yeah. had some noise, and you can tell off that shot. It definitely kind of erupted. You can't let that get in your head. Because when you play at places like, I know you got to play at, like, Bologna this year. Oh. You remember how loud that place was? Yeah. It's one of the loudest high school basketball places I've ever been. That place can erupt that real was quick. That was not a fun experience at Valonia. Mainly because of the ladder for no, me, personally. It wasn't the same one. Was that at Clarksville That or was Bologna? Clarksville. I'm talking about Valonia. Remember the last game we ever did last year? Yes. Bologna. Loud as we ever. That was very loud. Loud. I mean, we could hardly hear each other through our headsets. So you, you can't let little things like that affect us. you got to be mentally tough. Mentally tough and uh, – be able to Focus. react to this. You know, we're down for the first time the whole game. There's no reason we shouldn't be winning this game right now. You've got to know you're the better team. You've been leading the whole game, so let's go back and get it. Wise words of advice with Kel Petrie. <laughs> you're better than them. Go get it. Here's Jernigan. Gives it back to Jones. Jones is trapped. Cardinal fans wanting a foul. I believe I would have called at least three. She got slapped quite a few times. They have trapped, but I mean, they, they see a, they see the ball and they got automatically two people go to her. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing That's, we gotta know is that if there's two people on one, oh. if that girl comes here, we gotta find the open girl because if there's two on one, there's one person wide open. Yes. Guaranteed. Claudia just caught, called for a very nitpicky foul. And Anthea is over here in the corner getting slapped every which way. So Brown will come in for Claudia. Remember Brown's got four fouls. Claudia not too happy about that one. I don't think I would be either. 24 Sanders at the line for the Lady War Eagles. And that is up and no good. Fight for the ball, it'll be Farmington ball. They do. <laughs> I think he gave us a makeup call. Rogers on that fans one. do not like that. Here, here we come. Pence wide open three. Sinks it. About a foot deep, too. Cardinals take the lead back one more time. 40, 41 to 40. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the game. Here recently, it's been back and forth. Here's the pressure from Jernigan. Bad shot, no good. Here come the Cardinals quick, ahead to Brown. Brown, one-on-one, -on is going to be fouled. So wow. she'll go to the line. That'll be number 11's, 11, Allie 
I don't even know how you say her last name. We're just going to call her Allie. It's her third foul. Bueller. Bueller. Kaylee seeks her first free throw. Here's the second. That one's up and good. Good clutch free throw shooting there by Brown. Coach Johnson picking up the intensity. They try to go and inside and they get the walk. Like you said earlier, you've got to defend the paint. And that's what we've really, really gone to is we, we've stopped them from getting inside like they were in that third quarter and early in the fourth. That's where they score most of their points on us because Jernigan, they've got the height advantage. Jernigan, good job of take, keeping control of that ball. She's Along. breaking ankles left and right out here. Here we come. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Three-point lead, three minutes, 35. Got to be careful not to get a turnover. Pence brings it around, hands it off to Brown. She's going to be fouled. It's going to be a foul on number 44. I see number 44 getting a little bit frustrated she's with been Kaylee like that. Brown. She's been like that the whole game. And you Kaylee Brown's getting a little bit frustrated back, <laughs> I feel like. Might be a little bit of tension. That is number 44, Brooke Minks. That's her fourth foul, so she's in foul trouble with three minutes, and 20 left to it go. It doesn't look like the coach is about to pull her either. She's definitely your big presence down there, and she's she's got a nose for the ball. So She is, and that's out off her feet. <laughs> Straight through her hands and off her foot. You can tell that her mind is playing tricks on her right now. Definitely frustrated about that one. She's subbed out. Cameron, head fakes, Baseline. goes in and gets yes. fouled. Yes, number 10, that is a foul. You slapped her in the face. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what did I do? You slapped her in the face. There's a hand mark across her face now. You'll look. <laughs> <laughs> her first free throw is up and no good. Kaylee Brown was ready to put She's that one ready back to go. in. She's ready to go. <laughs> Shots up and no good. Brown tries to get it. Number, number five, the Heritage will pull it down. Here they come quick. In the corner. Gets it inside. Knocked Gets away. Bad Zed all over the place tonight. Here's Van Zant. Up top. Gives it to Brown. Two minutes 58. Brown trying to get something going. Going to have to be careful not to step across that half court. Pence looked like she was about ready to pull up from three feet deep. Good job ball handling right here. Getting a little time off the clock, up by two possessions. They're going to foul. They're going to get number 10 on that foul. Number 10 is Sydney Kinman. That's her third. Van Zan again at the line. She'll have two. First one is up and good. Here comes a second. That's up and no good. No good. Board pulled down by the Lady War Eagles. We get the turnover. I think it was Jones that knocked that knocked that ball loose. She grabbed it. Call a foul. Number 11, and Lakis, that's her fourth. Cardinals will shoot two so, shots. So right now, with two minutes left, they've got number 44 and number 11, both got four fouls. Mm -hmm. Jones at the line, two shots. 
Sinks our first one. Second one's up, no good. And Fighting for her own it. rebound, and she does. Here's Jernigan fighting for the ball. She gets another off of her foot. Jump ball. Possession arrow will favor the War Eagles. Ah, uh, Good hustle by both of them. Yeah, she gets her own rebound. I mean, yeah, she could keep it under control, but you got to give her credit for a lot of hustle on that play. And not to mention, it was almost in the other corner. Exactly. She beat everybody, and she was the farthest from the ball. Mm -hmm. Cardinals once again trying to prevent it from people getting underneath, force them to shoot outside like that. Going to draw the foul. We can't let them get rebounds. We got to box out. I know they're, they've got some height on us, but second chances are how you lose ball games, giving up second chances. First one is up and you've, no good. You've got to force this team to shoot because if you're at the free throw line or beyond, their percentage goes way, way down. down. Yes. That might be something else that they work on next practice. It's perimeter shooting. Second one is up and good. And come, we get a turnover. In. Oh, my. Almost hits the shot clock that they don't use and goes in. Wow. <laughs> Van Zant gets tackled, <laughs> and they actually call a foul. That's a good way to put it. She's going to go to the line for two. She'll shoot two. First one's good. Minute 13 left in the ball game. Van Zant to shoot one more. She's got 17 points on the night. Second one's up and good as well. Make that 18. Try to drive inside. Gonna get wow. Jernigan on a push. Man. Where, where is that on the other end of the court? <laughs> They've been doing that all night. My other question is, where is this guy going to the eye doctor? Because <laughs> I need to go because he's seeing things I'm not. <laughs> I think the whole game, maybe we should have just fouled them. Yeah. I mean, they can't make it. from the they, their, their free throw percentage about, right now is really low. Finally get one to go. Four-point ball game, minute left. We've got a minute to go. Oh. Travel. Got to stay tough right here. Got to stay tough. Got to give everything we've got for a minute. Don't let this crowd get you. There you go to the top of the key. Leave him a lane, goes off of Van Zant's uh. foot. They call the foul on. Wow. Let's see what number they're going to get huh. here. They were both straight up. That girl just ran into her. That's her own fault. They'll, pick, they'll get <laughs> Jernigan. That's her fourth. 50 seconds to go. They go to the free throw line. First one's up and good. So one possession game here. Chance to make it even closer. It's 
Second one's up and falls as well. Uh. Two point game, 50 seconds. Be interesting to see what we do here. They're gonna bring the press, try to force a turnover. Almost do. We have to get out of the trap. They're pushing us all along the sideline, wide open to Jernigan underneath. She gets it to fall and, and, the, and one. one. There's That's some more hustle from play. Cameron Jernigan. Huge play. Something you're always gonna get from her. Cardinals chance to take a five point lead right here. And mm. they don't get it, almost pull down the rebound. Heritage is gonna have to hurry. They try to go inside, weird looking shot, it no good. Looked like Called the jump ball. She's throwing her around. They call hey. a personal foul, number 44. That's going to be her fifth, so she's there out. There we go. Cameron Jernigan to the line to shoot some more free throws. Here's Jernigan at the line. Shooting two. <laughs> Slow down there. Heritage coach is fired up. I'm not really sure what about. I think they're trying to determine if it's a one and one or two shots. Well, it should be two shots because we've been shooting two shots for quite a while now. Well. <laughs> exactly, that's what I thought. Maybe he just hadn't been paying attention. Took a nap. Four point game, 19 seconds. That right there is one thing we can't let him do. Three pointer wide open and good. It'll wow. be a one point game, 12.9 left and they're gonna make it interesting. They are going to make it interesting. Was that their first three-pointer of the game? I don't think it was of the game, but <laughs> it hadn't. Not, they have not had many. I can guarantee no. you that. Wow. So a lot to think about. Lot to think about right now. Um, how big was that Jernigan and one? Pretty big. Huge. 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 Absolutely huge. It was huge. Exactly. <laughs> um. Coming down and seeing that, whenever she passed it to Jernigan, I was like, oh, no, you're wide open. And yeah. then she did it, and she made it. And I was like, and Ooh. so that was a big deal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what will happen is uh, this game, we have definitely learned a lot about ourselves. Coach yes. Johnson has learned. I guarantee you he's got pages of stuff right now, of, oh, yeah. of stuff to practice. So their next We're practice is going to be quite long. Guarantee I feel you. like it will be. Be 12.9 seconds left. 49 to 50, one point game. They're gonna try to force a turnover. Journey can do it a good job. Timeout, Coach Johnson. Ran the clock down to 8.8. .8. I say we throw a Hail Mary for a layup. <laughs> That's one option. Set a bunch of screens. They're going to try to foul you. Okay, so what, who do you want to have the ball, whose hands do you want to have the ball in? You've got Van Zant. Get it to Van Zant. She is leading the scores column, but that's high pressure for a freshman. Yeah, she's been pretty good <laughs> under pressure so far. She tonight. has. Her free throw percentage, I've I don't have the for sure stats on this, but I'm pretty sure it's the best of the night. Yep. I'm pretty if sure that we too. had Will the Weatherman to clarify that for us. Man. What's he thinking? Having going out and having fun hunting. Yep. 
So let's see how the Lady Cardinals react this situation. I say we don't throw it to him in the corner. No, that should do be not let them trap. Goal. Do not let them trap like they're going to want to. I say basically we need to play a smart game of hot potato. We want we want to make sure we get it on this inbounds pass. There we go. Fowler. <laughs> what we couldn't have done right there, we could not let them have a turnover right out of the basket, let yeah. them shoot. So we got it to Van Zant. We got it to the person that we want. So she'll be at the line for two shots. 7.2. Now the question is, if she makes both of these, do you foul? No. Oh. It's okay. I have to play a little bit of defense. Can't let them get inside. We've got two back. Jernigan and Pence. I'd let them get inside, but I'd protect the outside. Even if their three-point shooting percentage has been off tonight, can't take the risk. Here's our second one. That one's there good. There we go. All the way to the basket. Can't fall. Brown with the rebound. Ball game's there we over. Go. Lady Cardinals will win that one 51 to 49. Wow. That was a high emotion game. Wow. You know, we've called a lot of games, and that one was up there. You know, at the first half, yeah. we were thinking, we were oh, like, this might this wow. might be get out of hand real quick. Wow, but you gotta you gotta uh, give credit to Heritage on that one. They had a lot of heart in that game. You know, able to come back and make it that close, but if you're Coach Johnson, this is what you call a coach's perfect storm. You know why that is? Why is that, Kale? You won the game, but you still have pages and pages and pages of things to complain about, <laughs> to yell about, <laughs> and to be mad about. Perfect That's storm. Not good for the... It's a W in the win column, but you got all kinds of stuff to work on. Yep. Feel bad for Your the Your practices girls in the are not going to be boring. But. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. So, we'll have the boys' game here coming up here. We'll be on the air about probably about 10 minutes. Sounds so good to me. We're going to take a break, show some commercials, and be right back. All righty. Let's face it, the internet has become part of our day-to-day -day life. You find your news there, you pay your bills there, you do some shopping there, and on the internet with PG Telco, you got a lot of things on your side. First of all, Zing Broadband, moving at the speed of life. And then there's the 110 years of experience you get with PG Telco and a 24-hour repair service guarantee that you may not find elsewhere. So be it your home or your business, PG Telco has you up to speed with Zing Broadband. Connect fast with us. Call 479-846-7200. 479-846-7200. PG Telco, moving at the speed of life. Williams Tractor is a proud supporter of Farmington High School academics and athletics and wishes all Farmington teams a successful season. Williams Tractor carries over 120 different lines of equipment and knows that tradition is as important on the field as it is in serving our customers. Good luck to all competitors and coaches. Williams Tractor would like to thank Farmington and the surrounding communities for their business and is proud to have served our customers since 1973. Looking for free checking that isn't free of extras? It's as easy as finding your nearest Arvest bank. Our free blue checking comes with lots of features, including free online and mobile banking, and the ability to deposit a check just by taking a picture of it with your smartphone. And since it's from Arvest, you'll have the freedom of more than 240 locations and 7 to 7 banking. You shouldn't have to pay for convenience. Switch to free blue checking from Arvest Bank. Everybody knows how good Louisiana food is. For us, it's a way of life. We call it Creole. Creole is a melting pot of cultures, music, and great food. Salt and pepper? No way. On whatever you cook or whatever you eat, use Tony Sachery's Creole season. Trust me, I know Creole. And this is the real deal. Oh, yeah. Tony Sachery. Makes everything taste great. Things are changing in kitchens everywhere. Tony Sacheries. People are replacing salt and pepper on everything they eat. Tony Sacheries. Oh, yeah. No more salt and pepper. Tony 
Sacheries. Tony Sacheries famous Creole seasoning brings out the flavor in all your favorite foods. Tony Sacheries. Oh yeah. So put a little Creole in your kitchen. Tony Sacheries makes everything taste great. We came to Arvest Bank to see what makes it different. I love the app. I use it to deposit checks, snap the pictures, enter a few things, and then you just deposit. It's that easy? It's that easy. It's so easy to use, my dad can do it. What's the most unusual place you've used the mobile app? On top of a mountain in a snow cave in Vail, Colorado. While I was waiting in the drive-thru. The deer woods. Church. <laughs> our best bank. Our customers say it best. Attention students, have you found a place to live yet? Don't move into high-rise, high-cost student living. Live somewhere comfortable, affordable, on the bus route, and close to everything you need. It's all at Mad Sky Rental. 95% of apartments are rented in Fayetteville, so Mad Sky's places are going fast. Call today at 251-9403. One, two, and three bedrooms available. 251-9403. Or online at madskyrentals.com. Farmington Schools would like to thank Trinity Rehabilitation and Melinda Day for providing athletic training services that keep our Farmington athletes safe and in the game. Trinity has clinics in Fayetteville, Springdale, and Bella Vista. If you need outpatient physical therapy, please contact Trinity at 521-2232. Hey there, sports fans. Looking for that perfect bat? Need new football cleats? What about the latest in Razorback apparel? Come find exactly what you need at Best Sports. With two convenient locations and friendly customer service, we are your local suppliers of team sports, trophies, monogramming, letter jackets, Under Armour apparel, and much, much more. Locally owned and operated since 1972, let our family help your family. Best Sports, the sports shop for all seasons. Farmington Schools is currently seeking both full-time and substitute bus drivers. If you or someone you know has their commercial driver's license or would like more information on getting theirs, please contact Transportation Director Jim Hendricks at 479-267-6023. That's 479-267-6023. Farmington Schools is a better way to drive. Farmington Stampede is a proud supporter of Farmington Schools and the Farmington community. We look forward to everyone joining the next Stampede. Go Cards! Let's face it, the internet has become part of our day to